Tracy, and I'm presenting you with Are Ghosts Real or Is It Just a Trick of Our Imagination? So first, I would like to tell you about The Others. The Others is a horror movie about a family who live in a farm. And they laugh a little bit, and for a while they sounded nothing. But the next few weeks, they saw men walking across a field. And that night, the woman was putting her baby in the crib, and she saw a man. And then the next day when she checked on her baby, the baby was missing. And what did she found? A frog. A frog was in the house. And soon they were scared. They were scared things might happen. So they put another <clears throat> camera more than ever. And weeks went by and things was just happening crazily to them as injuries burns and every sort of bad things can happen and when they ask Niall and Holland they found out he and the, both of them have seen visions of ghosts and things floating so she thought she might have been in a ghost family so that ghost but it's no other than herself. She found out that she and her family was ghosts and the other family is <clears throat> the living person. Which this movie holds another point that ghosts might live on other dimension, but the housing location and activity is the same in our dimension. Ghosts. Ghosts are spirit that returns to life <clears throat> using something. And as you can see on the board above, stars representing what we can see is only 4%. The other of our world is 96% that we can't see, covering dark energy and matter. Dr. Michio Kaku's idea to why ghosts possibly can be real. So first, it's the string theory. The string theory is a theory of a lot of strings creating together, making a dimension that is using other vibrations and movement. 11 to 12 dimensions, different dimensions have different creature living on it and just as our world please. vibration and string theory so like you can see there's up a cork and down a cork and each cork holds a lot of strings <clears throat> and the strings have the vibration which makes up the dimensions and world Matter, molecule, atom, nucleus, neutron, and quark. <clears throat> Matter is made of a lot of molecule together. And molecule is made a lot of atoms that is together. And then the atoms have electron and nucleus in it, which hold two things, proton and neutron. The neutron have quark and gluon in it which is in the cork, there are strings. And as I said, this string makes our dimension. So if we can't detect all of those, why can't we detect the strings? The quantum theory. The quantum theory is a standard model of elementary particles, and it had 30 particles on it, Three main one is the lepton, quarks, and bosons. Those things is the main one. And if I say it, and and if I make the string go on a different way, then I would name it another name such as quark. And if I do it another diagonally thingy.
Photon. So those. So those things is like <laughs> the things that the three things that makes. So if we count all it together, there's infinite vibration. Then where is the other vibrations? The eleven to twelve dimension there is. So <laughs> if there's thirty vibration in our world then scientists think that there should be more vibration on other dimension as there is other particles that live i there is can be one or a thousand we don't know membrane and brain so the membrane is an open tube that that connects the dimensions together and those dimensions have the boundary which is the brain and each there's 11 brain which is the 11 dimension and each brain is like a wall that holds dimensions the things that are believable we believe in gravity and we know it exists even though if we can't see it we can feel it and we use it with our machineries and inventions dark matter and dark energy we kind of know it exists because it's a thing that generates gravity and multiverse Multiverse, we're not sure about, but it possibly can be real because of this string theory that makes it. So, as you can see, there's like two cones touching each other, which are the t membranes, and then the walls are the brain that holds each dimension. Why do we need to study and learn this? We need to study and learn this not only for if we know if ghosts are real, but we want to know more about dark matter and energy and gravity and multiverse and if all the things we investigate, like the string theory, can be improved more. Um, and if I was at some laboratory someday, I would be thankful for ghosts for having me an interest in the string theory. Thank you for listening. Yes. Thank you. Come on, everyone.